Hi everybody! Happy Saturday! I'm glad to see you today. So I have a story to read for you and then we're going to play a game but I'm going to have you play it with your family because it's something that we can't play over the computer but I think you'll have a lot of fun. So first let's listen to our story. Today our story again comes from the Spark Story Bible and the story is called The Lost Sheep and the Lost Coin. Now this is one of those stories, it's called a parable, that Jesus told to um, his disciples and other people to teach them a lesson about God's love. So, here we go, let's see what we can learn. Telling stories was Jesus' favorite way to teach people about God. Once there was a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. Jesus said he loved them all, the big ones, and the little ones, the good ones, and the naughty ones. They were his sheep and he loved them. Every day the shepherd counted his sheep to make sure they were all safe. One day he counted only 99 sheep. Oh no, one was missing. Right away the shepherd left the 99 sheep together and went to look for the one that was lost. The shepherd listened for the lost sheep to bah. He looked in all the places that the sheep might get stuck or in trouble. It took a while, but the shepherd kept looking until he found the missing one. Then he called to all of his friends and neighbors. Come on over, he cried. I found my sheep. Let's have a party. Jesus loved telling people stories like this about something being lost and then found. I have another story, Jesus said. Once there was a woman who had saved up 10 little silver coins. One day when she was counting them, she discovered that she had lost one. What do you think she did? What do you think she did? Let's see. Hmm, did she think to herself, Oh, well, I've still got nine, so who cares if one is lost? No, she did not. She lit her lamp and swept the house from top to bottom. She looked under and over and around everything in her house until she found that lost coin. Oh, she was so happy she had a party to celebrate. God is like the shepherd and this woman. You know, Jesus said, God would never stop looking for someone who was lost. The end. Do you know, sometimes we feel like God isn't around, right? Sometimes it's hard to feel God's presence. Sometimes it's hard to remember that God loves you. But God loves you so much that if you are hurting, God will come just to take care of you and just to show you love. You are as important as all of the people in the world. So if God has to take care of all of the people in the world, which is a lot of people, God loves you as much as all of those people. And God would come to find just you. So for the game today, I want you to find somebody in your house to play it with. It can be a brother or a sister, could be a mom or a dad or another grown up, right? Someone in your house that you could play with. I want you to find a quarter. That's probably the best coin to use. See if mom or dad or grown, one of the grown ups in the house has a quarter you could borrow. And then you're gonna play a hide and go seek game with this quarter. So you take turns with your partner and one person will close their eyes and count to, let's say, 15. Count to 15 while the other person hides the coin somewhere in the house. And then that person, go, then the person who was counting goes and finds it. And once they find it, they should have a dance party. Ooh, dance party. All right. I hope you have fun playing that game. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Um, come back tomorrow and tell me all about it. Tomorrow will be Sunday, so we'll worship together. Maybe we'll sing some fun songs and hear a story about Jesus coming into the kingdom. Because tomorrow is Palm Sunday. 
I sent a link to your parents on the Facebook so that you could color a palm leaf so that you could wave it tomorrow for our worship. So have your parents check that out. I'm excited to see you tomorrow to worship with you and to celebrate Jesus coming into the world with our palms. Remember that God loves you and so do I. I'll see you tomorrow. Have fun playing your coin game.